Dzień dobry Państwu, a właściwie dobry wieczór. Witam Państwa serdecznie. Marcin Wychowit, środa, 11 maja. Ze mną jest Mark Gual, który dzisiaj będzie moim i Państwa gościem. Hello, Mark. Hello. Nice to have you here. Zaraz przejdziemy i od tego rozpoczniemy od pytań, które Państwo nadesłaliście do nas, czy to w komentarzach pod postem na Twitterze, czy to w komentarzach pod postem na Facebooku, również na Instagramie. Zachęcamy Państwa do udziału w naszym czacie na żywo. Będę starał się go obserwować, przekazywać pytania Markowi. Porozmawiamy sobie dzisiaj na wiele bardzo ciekawych tematów. Przed nami interesująca, myślę, niecała godzina, także serdecznie Państwa zapraszamy. Zapraszam również do subskrybowania naszego kanału Jaga TV, na którym oglądają Państwo transmisję z dzisiejszego studia. Słoneczna. So Mark. There were very many uh, questions from our fans. Most of them, like 80%, were about are you staying in Jagiellonia for the next season? You are smiling, I am smiling. I think that you know the same uh, as me, but I need to hear your answer. So are you staying in Jagiellonia for next season or no, or it's hard to tell? No, I, I can't tell because I have contract in in Dnipro, in in Ukraine, and I need to to wait uh, about what happens with football in Ukraine. If it's possible to to play, if it's not possible, and and my future depends on on this. Uh, maybe I can I can back. Maybe I need to to find another another team, and I need to to wait. I, I think that in the in in two or three weeks there are a, a meeting with with this problem and and let's see about about FIFA says and, and let's see what what happens with with the, with this tak jak się spodziewałem, Mark powiedział, że zobaczymy, co się stanie. Nie może teraz udzielić jednoznacznej odpowiedzi. Za 2-3 tygodnie spotkanie. Zobaczymy, jak to wszystko będzie przebiegało. Wciąż ma ważny kontrakt z Dnipro. Do Dnipro przejdziemy za chwilę kilka. Ja tutaj zgromadziłem bardzo ciekawe pytania od Państwa, ale nie tylko. Również nasze, również z działu prasowego. Myślę, że większość z nich uda się zacząć. Na początek chciałbym zacząć od tego, co było pierwsze, zdaje się pierwsze, doprecyzujemy za chwilę w karierze Marka, czyli od Espaniolu Barcelona, a pytanie będzie na początek proste. Który klub z Barcelony Mark wspiera? So Mark, I would like to ask you about your beginnings at football, but from the other side and uh, maybe a little bit about uh, jokes, but you can say the honest way. Which team do you support, Espanol or FC Barcelona? Oh, I, I support the two teams because I play in in both and I I have friends in, in in two teams and when they play together it's it's difficult but but when when they play when they don't play against I I hope that that win all the teams and it's it's good to to see uh, friends and and your your ex teams to to be good okay uh, but um if you will need to choose the side? Oh, if, if I need to choose, I, I choose Barcelona, but because I started there with, with eight years, I think, and I play eight years in, in Barcelona, and I grow up with, with, the, with this, and it's my, my first go, good team, and a little bit more it's, it's for, for this. <laughs> Mark powiedział, że oczywiście bardzo trudno mu wskazać, który z tych klubów wspiera, któremu kibicuje bardziej. Jeżeli grają ze sobą, jego serce jest rozdarte, ale gdyby koniecznie musiał wybrać, wskazałby Barcelonę. Niemniej zaznaczył, że to dobrze mieć wielu przyjaciół w jednej i drugiej drużynie. Mark, tell me about your beginnings, but in Espanol you've met there some very nice players uh, who made careers after being in Espanol. You played in the reserve team of Espanol and you were along with, uh, I need to check, but I know all those players. Mark Roca, uh, uh, am yeah. I pronouncing the surname right? Uh, yes. Uh, Aaron Martin, he's now playing in Mainz. Uh, Edgar Gonzalez, he's playing now in Real Betis. So those are big names. Were you expecting when you were playing alongside with them that they will do so, so big careers? Yes, I play with a lot of a lot of players that that now are in in first divisions, 
and when when we are young are um, are improving uh, ourselves and there are a, a lot of things when that decide your your career and and make if you you do the the good step or or or, or not but I think that all these players that that you that you say and a lot of more that are playing in first and second division in Spain in, in other countries and when we play in in these teams, uh, Spanish, Barça, Madrid, all all these teams, for sure are players that will arrive to to the first the first level, and it's the case of of this. But uh, those are not the only players uh, of the big names uh, you were playing with. I need to check because there are so many na names, big names now in football that you were playing with in uh, your team of Spain, under 21. You were uh, a member of squad who played in uh, the qualifications to Euro, uh, under 21, and there were you were playing along with, watch out, Dani Ceballos, Mikel Merino, Mikel Oyarzabal, Borja Mayoral, Rodri, Pablo Forners, Fabian Ruiz, Paul Liroa, Jorge Mere, Unai Simon. Those are all very, very big names. Uh, do you still have contact with uh, one of those players or uh, those um, friendships are over now? Were you messaging? Yeah, I not talk with, with all these players, but with some players, yes, I, I talk. And there are, there are friends I'm talking about the, the career they are so good and when I play with with this uh, I'm trying to to learn something with for for them and they they say to me that we need to to improve to to be good and and happy they, uh, they, this is the most important thing that you you need to be happy for with with playing, with you like to do, and, and this is the most important. Mark wspomniał w odniesieniu do mojego pytania, które dotyczyło się zawodników, których miał okazję spotkać, czy to w Espanolu w Młodzieżowych Drużynach, jak Aaron Martin, czy Mark Roca, czy też zawodników, z którymi grał w Młodzieżowej Reprezentacji Hiszpanii, takich jak Dania Ceballos, Dani Ceballos, przepraszam, czy Mikar Oyarzabal, że oczywiście z niektórymi wciąż jeszcze utrzymuje kontakt, no, natomiast niektóre te e, znajomości się rozmyły, niemniej jednak, jak sam stwierdził, kiedy się jest młodym, trudno wskazać tak do końca kto jaką karierę zrobi, ale oczywiście e, kibicuje chłopakom. And I have a question about those uh, games uh, in uh, Spain national team under 21. You played in three games, uh, but uh, I would like to ask how does it feel for a young boy? Uh, you were uh, 20 years old back then as I uh, uh, checked correctly. Mm. What's the feeling? How does it feel when you are wearing your national team? I know it's under 21, but it's very, very big, uh, big thing for for such a young player. Yeah, go to to play with with the national team. It's a recognize of your of your work during during the during the year during your career and. This is the most important thing. Uh, I, I'm doing the, the things good, and this is the, the recognize. And I'm, I'm very proud of, of me. And, and this is a way to, to continue the, the work. And some I mean, kind of award for you, for your hard work, for yes, that's it. Some yeah. kind of appreciation for your hard yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I only I don't only see my my work. The other people see what I'm doing, and I'm doing good. And this is uh, so so good for for me, and and means that I can continue to work to to improve uh, more. Zapytałem Marka o to, jakie to jest uczucie zagrać w meczu reprezentacji narodowej, przywdziać koszulkę drużyny narodowej i reprezentacji Hiszpanii. Powiedział, że to była forma wyjątkowa, forma docenienia jego postawy, forma pewnego rodzaju zauważenia jego ciężkiej pracy i zachęta do tego, żeby tę ciężką pracę, tę trudną też pracę kontynuował. Tutaj mam jedno dosyć ciekawe pytanie od naszego Kitmana, Karola Szkiłądzia, którego serdecznie pozdrawiamy z tego miejsca.
o jeden z tatuaży Marka. So Mark, our kitman, Karol, told me, ask him about his tattoo of avocado. What does it mean? <laughs> ah, because I have uh, one friend that is a cooker. And uh, we made this, this tattoo. I have one half and he <laughs> oh, okay. have the, the other half because there are, this is my, 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 my best friend and we live two, two years together in, in Madrid and it's one, one sign for... So it's a symbol of your friendship? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now it means perfectly everything. So if you connect those uh, two halves of avocado, it's full. And yeah. When you met, I think... You can uh, joke about it. Yeah, yeah, it's a joke for uh, for us, and it's uh, something to to the other people see this. Mark ma pewien interesujący tatuaż, tak jak wspomniałem, tatuaż awokado. Zapytałem go, skąd to się wzięło. Powiedział, że ma najlepszego przyjaciela, który jest kucharzem i zrobili sobie dla żartu tatuaże identyczne, dwie połówki awokado. No, dosyć oryginalny sposób, ale czemu nie? Już wiele widzieliśmy przecież. I wanted to ask you about, also about one of your colleagues that you met in the reserve team of Espanol, I mean Alex Serrano. He is now playing in Poland, in Górnik Łęczna. We will be playing against them in the last uh, match of this season um, away. Um, do you still have contact with him? And uh, were you talking with him before signing a contract with Agelonia? Were you asking him about how it's there in Poland, how it's the weather, uh, are people good, are stadiums good, how's about the league? Yeah, yeah, I, I talked with, with Alex uh, some time. And before before come here, I I told to to him to to say things for, from Poland and and now this these weeks are are talking that we play in in the next week and they say jokes about they don't win uh, don't score that <laughs> something like this but yeah yes he's, he's a good friend and. And he helps me with uh, with some questions that I have uh, before before coming here. Were you um, um, before moving to Poland, before moving to Jagiellonia, were you speaking with uh, someone else? You were consulting your decision. Yeah, I speak uh, with with Ibi. Uh, I play with. with I also Ibi have in, a question about in, Ibi. in Sevilla, and yeah, I speak with Ibi when because they they still. Uh, having a, a so good year here and, and I ask some some things about about here about the, the league about the level about all uh, all things about here in, in Poland and he helps me with with some questions and it's it's important to me to, to have uh, ideas or to, to see people like I, I know that how it's doing here to to, to, to prepare so, to move. Yeah, to prepare and, and take uh, ideas from, from this, this period. Before I translate your answers, uh, I have a question, but please be honest with us. You've already played six games in Extra Classa for Regirania, you scored three goals. Nice, but uh, I want to ask you, you will be honest, you promise. What's the level of Extra Classa? If you can compare it to the second Segunda Division in in Spain, uh, the thing that uh, I see more here, it's uh, so physically there are a lot of contact here, but the thing that uh, I see more it's uh, the the games are a lot of they have. A lot of attack and a lot of I don't know how to say, but not it's not uh, too much tactical. There are a lot of go long, long balls. Go, come back, go, come back. Too much counter attacks and something like this. But I I like this this idea for for football because I'm. Uh, I'm a forward and there are a lot of opportunities to, to score and uh, I like this because I don't like to defend, to, to be honest. I, uh, I want the ball to in my feet and, 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 and attack. Okay. And 
this is this is good for for my type of football but i think in in my opinion that uh we need a little more tactical to to do a, a comp to be regular during the all season okay you need to give me a second to translate okay na początku zapytałem Marka o Aleksa Serrano, jego kolegę, z którym grał w przeszłości w rezerwach Hispaniola, czy konsultował z nim transfer do Polski, co Aleks mu o Polsce mówił, czy polecał ten kierunek. Powiedział, że tak, konsultował, wciąż mają ze sobą kontakt, teraz żartują o tym, że niedługo zmierzy się Jagiellonia z Górnikiem. Przypominam, to będzie ostatni nasz mecz w tym sezonie, mecz wyjazdowy w 34. kolejce. Mówił też o tym, że konsultował się z Iwim Lopezem na moje pytanie o to, czy ktoś jeszcze miał jakikolwiek udział w jego decyzji. Tak jak wspomniałem, konsultował się z Iwim Lopezem, obaj polecali ekstraklasę i tutaj zahaczyliśmy o temat poziomu ekstraklasy. Jak porównałby Mark ekstraklasę do Segunda División? Powiedział, że tutaj gra się, co chyba nie jest zaskoczeniem, dużo bardziej fizycznie. Mówił o tym, że jest mniej taktyki, raczej dużo kontrataków, ale z drugiej strony jemu jako napastnikowi to odpowiada, ponieważ może też często być przy piłce, oddawać strzały na bramkę rywali. Teraz chciałbym tutaj przejść do kwestii dotyczącej właśnie tych strzałów. So Mark, you had a match ball against Wisła Kraków in last game. Before the program I was talking with Emil and he told me you need to ask him about this. What happened? What did you see when you got the ball in the 93rd, 4th minute of the game? If you will score this, Iaga will have three points. What did you feel? What did you see? Uh, how do you remember this situation? Yeah, I remember that when Jesus passed to me, I think that one defender touched the ball, and I think that I can't shoot, but then the ball stays there, and I have a touch, and three or four defenders are trying to to close the the shoot and i only see the the shoot to the to the second post and i sh i cross a little bit more than, than than i have and they go out but i think that i need i need to score this i, I come here to, i come here to to score goals and to make this and uh, i fail but uh, i think that the, the, the good part is that I, I have the, the opportunity and I try to, to score in the next game. Uh, this question connects with the second one uh, about your leg. Which leg do you prefer? Because we've seen you uh, scoring goals with right leg, with left leg. You are saying, uh, if I'm correct, that you prefer left leg. But how does it compare to the situation when you score a goal from your right leg? So one uh, at all the time, which leg is the best leg of Mark Gual? No, the best leg is right because it's, uh, I use it for, for all to, to do passes and all things normally I use uh, right. But I, I try to use uh, the left uh, as much as possible because it's good to, to use uh, both. But when I need to shoot, uh, sometimes I I change the, the shoot because I put the ball in, in right and uh, to to finally shoot, I, I change to the left and, and now shoot. And I think that it's a, a very good thing to, to me because I can shoot with, with both legs and not the same, but similar to with power and with... So you are a universal player? <laughs> <laughs> Not like this, but uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. You're doing your best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I looked at the, our chat, uh, but before the question, um, I will translate your uh, answers. Uh, rozmawialiśmy, proszę Państwa, o tym, którą, której nogi używa Mark części, którą nogą strzela gole, która jest jego wiodącą nogą, czy to noga prawa, czy to noga lewa. Sam Mark powiedział, że zdecydowanie prawa, to nią podaje, nią strzela, ale stara się korzystać jak tylko może z nogi lewej i nią też 
nie jest tylko tak, jak to się mówi, że służy mu tylko do wsiadania do tramwajów. I left because I looked at our chat and I saw a question from Arkadiusz Szczęsny. Uh, he is asking, will you promise not to wear these pants anymore? I don't know if you know what he means. <laughs> because he says that my, uh, my clothes, when, when I dress, it's a uh, little different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and different is a good uh, word. Yeah, I like, I like to, be, to be different with, with clothes, with, with all things, because I like too much uh, uh, dress, uh, so good, uh, sneaks, sneakers, and, and when I what go... What are you wearing today? Oh. Regular one. Ah, it's uh, not so different, but, <laughs> but when, uh, sometimes when I, when I come here with, uh, with a different shirt or different pants... I remember uh, you in pink? Uh, yeah, pants. I have a lot, a lot of <laughs> color, pink, uh, all, all, all colors, and... He he don't don't like to to match the, these things because okay. they don't put and, and for this is. Oczywiście pozdrawiamy Arka, który zadał pytanie, czy Mark obieca nie nosić już więcej tych spodni. Mark powiedział, że no, wyróżnia się modą, wyróżnia się tym swoim stylem i tym, że nosi wiele różnokolorowych ubrań, między innymi też różowych, ale jak sami Państwo widzą, również your jacket is also colorful. <laughs> Zachęcamy Państwa oczywiście do zadawania pytań na naszym czacie. Będziemy je zadawali Markowi w miarę możliwości. Jeszcze trochę czasu nam zostało. Do wątku ukraińskiego przejdziemy za jakiś czas, a teraz powrócimy do pytań, które Państwo przesyłali do nas wcześniej. So, those will be short questions, short answers. Ok? First one. Which place in Białystok is your favorite? The beach. <laughs> so our stadium. Yes. Okay. Uh, how do you like uh, our stadium, and um, what's the stadium that made the biggest impressions, the biggest impression on you during your career, in whole career, maybe in Spain, in other country? Uh, Sevilla Stadium. Sevilla Stadium. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next one. Mm, how can you compare our base here in uh, Elatorska, here in Białystok, to other clubs you've been? Is it on good level? Do we yes, miss I like anything? so much this. Okay. Yeah, the gym is so good and... You have everything here, what you need. Yes. Uh, next ones, those are uh, more like jokes. Uh, who will win Champions League in this season? Manchester City or Real Madrid? I think it's turned to Manchester City. I think also. Uh, who was your football idol when you were, when you were a child? Fernando Torres. Is he still your idol? Yes. Okay. He, he don't play, but yes. Okay. Uh, with which player would you like to play from all over the world? At the moment? Yeah. Now? Yeah. I think with Kevin De Bruyne. Now. I see this duo. This will be great. Yes, because I'm thinking about uh, I, I, a player that can pass to me. I think that Kevin De Bruyne contract is ending, so we can. We phone. need to, to yeah, call. We need to call him. Uh, and the last one: What's your biggest football dream? What would you like to do in future in football? What would you like to achieve? In my mind, it's the thing that I want to win a trophy. Win a trophy. Yes. But which one? Extra class trophy. It's good for me. <laughs> Krótkie pytania do Marka. Ostatnie brzmiało to, jakie jest jego futbolowe marzenie. Powiedział, że wygranie trofeum może być e, trofeum ekstra klasy z Jagiellonią oczywiście. Łów Jagiellonia. Trophy of extra klasy Of course. <laughs> You can make it possible. Pytałem również o to, kto wygra Champions League w tym sezonie, Manchester City. Który zawodnik był idolem Marka, kiedy Mark był dzieckiem? Tutaj wskazał na Fernando Torresa. Które miejsce w Białym Stoku Mark lubi najbardziej? To boisko, czyli nasz stadion. Który stadion na świecie zrobił na nim największe wrażenie? Tutaj wskazał na stadion Sevilla, Sevilla Stadium, the biggest yes. impression. And, y, mm, oraz y, jak porównałby naszą bazę na elewatorskiej do baz innych klubów? Powiedział, że tutaj niczego nie brakuje. So we can go back to uh, longer questions. I can check the chat. 
Yeah, we have uh, a question from our chat. If you had the opportunity to play with a one world-class player, who was that? Who will be? And what would you like to learn from him? You answered that, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. Yeah, because if if I want to play with with some, it's a good player that can pass uh, to me to to score goals. And so we need someone to assist you. Yes. And it connects perfectly. You are perfect talker. With uh, my uh, next question, how do you, uh, um, I would like to ask about Jesus? You played with him only one game, but do you think you, Jesus, and maybe Diego can make a deadly trio to defense of other clubs? Yeah, it's possible, but I think that we don't have time. Uh, I play with Diego more more plays and I know uh, a little more, but with Jesus uh, it's not possible to, to play some some more games because, because he, he he come back now and I need to... You have two games in front of you. Yes, but uh, I need to, to see Jesus more in the, in the pitch. Out the pitch I, I know uh, Jesus, but I need to, to know more the, how to move and how to, to, to pass. To understand Yes, to, in, in the pitch. And I think that it's not, not so much time. And maybe if it's a possibility to, to play with, with Jesus in the, in the next year, yeah, f of course. We, we understand so good in the pitch and, uh, and be a good duo. Pierwsze pytanie to było pytanie z czatu, pytanie od użytkownika Kamil Sawczuk, z, kogo, z kim chciałby grać ze światowego topu marki. Tutaj ponownie padła odpowiedź Kevin De Bruyne, który dawałby mu dużo asyst, co skłoniło mnie do zadania pytania o to, jak gra się Markowi z Jesusem i z Diego, czy w jego opinii mogliby stworzyć zabójcze trio. Powiedział, że tak, ale na to w tym sezonie czasu za dużo nie ma, muszą się lepiej dogadać, lepiej zrozumieć. To jest oczywiście zrozumiałe, ponieważ do tej pory z Jesusem Mark mógł zagrać, danemu było zagrać tylko raz. Przejdziemy teraz do meczu z Legią. Ja oczywiście zapraszam Państwa do zadawania kolejnych pytań, a jeżeli chodzi o sam mecz z Legią, to zapraszam Państwa do kupowania biletów bilety.jagielonia.pl PL, jeżeli się nie mylę, to już około 8 tysięcy biletów, już około 8 tysięcy osób wybiera się w piątek na Słoneczną. Zapraszamy. 20.30, 33. kolejka PKO, Bank Polski, Ekstraklasy, Jagiellonia, Legia. So Mark, my question is about the game with Legia. If the sale of tickets will be at this level that it is now, in further days, it will be the match with the highest frequency in season. I think um, that maybe around 10,000 10, uh, of spectators at the stadium. Uh, how does it feel to you to play with such a big audience? Does it make any other uh, any additional stress on you? Does it help you to play if there are many people at the stands? Yes, I like. I like to play. So with with all people. If there are ma more people, it's better for you. Yeah, it's better for me and it's better for, for the team, I think. Uh, and here people are all the much uh, uh, shouting and I think that in the, mom in the difficult moments of, of the game, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing for, for the team that, that helps. And of course, I like that uh, Ten thousand of full stadium for me. Uh, every every game, it's it's a, it's a perfect thing. So it doesn't put any additional stress to you. It's like an adrenaline. Yes, it's a good thing uh, to uh, that helps me to to do my better. Before I tra translate your answer, I would also uh, like to ask you about Legia, uh, not only about the fans uh, that will be at the stadium at this match, but about the match itself. How do you uh, feel before the game? Is everything okay with you? And uh, have you already uh, seen any games of Legia? Do you know anything about this team? How do you prepare for this match? Because it's a very, very, very important match for for us. We are basically staying in the extra class. It's like 99% uh, of certainty that we will be in extra class in next season. But 
there is one percent that we will not be and we need to earn at least a point in match with Legia. So how do you prepare? How do you feel before Legia? Do you know anything about this opponent? Yes, I see some games of of this team. Uh, the, the last one, uh, I I know some some players uh, of of Legia, and I think that uh, we prepare the, the the game the same at uh, all uh, at all the game. others. Yeah. But of course, it's it's. The most important, but in my mind, it's not uh, one point or we need to do this to to stay in extra class or something like this. Uh, I go to every game to thinking to to win, to to do my best, to score goals, and and that's it. If if you if you think different for for one game, it's it's not good. I think that you you need to to think about. Always to, to go to, to win and, and that's it. E, zapytałem Chrysusa o to, czy nastawia się jakoś specjalnie, co wie o Legii, jak się przygotowują do tego meczu, to jest ważne spotkanie dla Jagiellonii. Powiedział, że do każdego meczu, przepraszam, przygotowują się tak samo. Uważa, że to nawet jest niedobre, jeżeli przygotowuje się do konkretnego meczu, do jednego meczu w sposób inny od pozostałych. Myślę, że coś w tym może być. Pytałem go również o to, czy gra przy tak dużej frekwencji już teraz zapowiada się, że będzie powyżej 10 tysięcy, za co serdecznie Państwu dziękujemy. Nakłada na niego jakiś dodatkowy stres. Stwierdził, że nie, że to jest wręcz nobilitujące i mobilizujące. We are like, I don't know, 45 minutes of the program already, so I I think it's the best uh, time because we need to talk about it about your situation at the Ukraine. Uh, I need to read you something. In one of the interviews, you said, "I was sleeping and a very loud noise woke me up. I didn't know what was happening. I, I got out of bed and heard another noise. Then I looked out uh, the window and saw fire. There I thought, okay, he's a problem." There, there were bombs, uh, they were the first bombs that uh, fell on Dnipro. All of my teammates got together and took refuge in a bunker. Uh, what was happening from the very beginning of the war? Yeah, I, uh, the war started la like this. Uh, I'm sleeping and I heard bombs. And all the teammates were we live in the, in the same... In the same building or in the yes, same area? It, yes, it's uh, an area with uh, some buildings and all the players li live there. And we take uh, three cars, I think, and we go that faster as possible to the to the bunker in the in the base. But what do you mean by the bunker? Is it a true bunker or just the basement? Yeah, yeah. No, no, a bunker down. Okay. And we stay in the bunker, I don't know how much time, but when the things calm a little, uh, we, t we took uh, all cars, we find some water and, and something to eat, and we go to um, a hotel that is from the, the president of the club, and there we, we stay the first night, and we prepare all things, we find uh, fuel for the cars and and we prepare all to to go to the, the in the next morning at I think at five five in the morning. So we spent three days uh, yes. after the war. Yeah and with with all the cars we we start the, the travel to to Romania. And I think we travel like 27, 28 hours with, with the car. Without any stops? We stop uh, three or four times to, to pee or to put fuel and that's it. Okay. Because uh, maybe if you stop to, to put fuel you take two or three hours because there are a lot of a lot of people doing the same and and how was the situation at the border with uh, Romania how many hours you needed to wait there 
when we arrived to um, to the border, well, when in the last eight, I think eight kilometers, we don't go with car. We need to walk because it's impossible to arrive with with car. So you left the cars? Yeah, and we left the cars in in the road. Well, in one side of the road, and then we walked, uh, I think, eight kilometers, and when arrived to the to the um, border, to the border, we stay, I think, seven, eight hours, and then we can cross. And you, from Romania, you flew back to Spain, or yes, we we fly. Well, uh, me and another another guy from Spain. We traveled to Spain, but all the teammates, uh, we have one guy to go to Argentina, uh, three guys go to Brazil, another one to go to Portugal, and but we, in the airport, someone took one fly and uh, someone the other. Your friends stayed uh, in Dnipro, because I, f I assume that you have some friends who are still at the Ukraine. Yes, uh, Ukrainian people, they can leave the, the country and they stay... Do you have contact with them? Yes, I uh, talk with with someone, and he are he he's still in there with families, with with sons, with wives, and it's not easy. But in the in the last days, mm, it's a little bit a bit, bit better, and I hope that <laughs> this finish finally. Mark opowiedział trochę o tym, jak wyglądała jego ucieczka z zaatakowanej przez Rosję Ukrainy. Mówił o tym, że obudził się rano, słysząc bomby. Zebrali się z kolegami z drużyny, schronili się w bunkrze. Później spędził tam łącznie trzy dni. Wyjechali 27 rano i, jak opowiada, skierowali się na granicę z Rumunią. Podróż zajęła 27-28 godzin. Po drodze się zatrzymywali tylko po to, żeby dotankować. Byli zmuszeni też do zostawienia aut 8 km od granicy i końcową część tej trasy pokonania pieszo. No i potem z Rumunii udało mu się przedostać do Hiszpanii. Także traumatyczne przeżycia naszego zawodnika. Mówił też o tym, że ma wciąż jeszcze znajomych, którzy zostali na Ukrainie i wciąż przebywają właśnie za naszą wschodnią granicą. The question from the chat. Uh, as I see some questions. <laughs> Mark, what do you think about our town? About Białystok? Do you like it or not? Yes, I like, but it's uh, a lot of different from from my home, Barcelona. It's a little bit smaller. Yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> here is is small. It's like a like a village in in Spain, <laughs> but it's it's so good. I, but I, you've chose the right month to arrive, if I can say so, because it's after the winter and the summer is coming. Yeah, now the the weather is, is so good, but when when I arrive, it's a little cold <laughs> for me. Uh, I'm not adapted to, to to this cold, but now for me it's it's so good. Second one, uh, how do you like Białystok compared to the cities you used to live in? Yeah, the, that I'm saying uh, here there's. But it have pluses. It's yeah, uh, close it's to everything. Yeah, the, this is good, and we have uh, a mall where we have some coffee, something to to, to do. Yeah, this is good, but uh, I'm adapt to to Barcelona that there are a lot of things for all. You have, if you want to to go to shop, you can go to twenty. Or I think more. in Bialystok we in also Bialystok have 20 shops or more. Yeah, but <laughs> in Bialystok if you want to do this, you need to go there. And in Barcelona, if you want to do this, you can go here, 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 ah, here, okay, here, here, okay. here, here. And this is uh, how the... Many, how many people live in Barcelona, you know, about? I don't know. It's Over a million? Much. Oh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> With tourists? Yes, if you go to the center, there are a lot of cars, uh, t too much traffic because there are too much people. Here is um, so calm. You, you don't have traffic. You, you don't have you, you don't have hurry to to go things because you can walk. The, this is good for me because in Barcelona you need to take car for all. 
and here I can go walking to, to take a coffee or to, to shop. Uh, this is different, but uh, I like. Porozmawialiśmy zadając pytania z czatu o Białym Stoku, chwileczkę z Markiem, powiedział, że podoba mu się tutaj i nawykł do trochę innego życia w Barcelonie, które jest oczywiście miastem zdecydowanie większym, ale mówi, że spokój, który tutaj jest w Białym Stoku też ma swoje uroki, może się przejść i może w niedalekiej odległości od swojego mieszkania załatwić sprawy. Już niedługo będziemy kończyli, także zapraszam do zadawania pytań. Myślę, że jeszcze z trzy zadamy. We won't be keeping you longer. I think that three or four questions and we will be ending um, so I would like to ask you a little bit uh, about uh, your home region about uh, Barcelona about Catalonia do you speak Catalan language yeah yeah with uh, all my family I speak Catalan. is it your first language or yeah. Spanish is your first language no it's Catalan uh, I speak Catalan with with all of my family and we are we are Catalan uh, so do you feel uh, more Catalan than Span Spaniard? So uh, I'm the both. Both. Yeah, uh, I'm Catalan and I'm Spanish. Uh, in in Spain, some people think about only from Catalonia, only from Spain. But for me, I'm both. Uh, it's it's uh, for me it's, uh, it's the same thing and. I speak uh, Catalan with my family, I speak Catalan with some friends, I speak Spanish with some friends, and it doesn't matter for me. If someone will approach you, like for example me, and ask you, show me or tell me three places in Barcelona or new to Barcelona that uh, a tourist have to visit, what will you tell? Oh, I say... The first one is uh, if you are not from Barcelona, you need to go to the beach and to, uh, to take a, a bath from there and you see uh, Hotel Bella and something like this. The second, La Sagrada Familia for, for all the world needs, needs to, to see this. And the third thing uh, I say to you to go to Badalona, to, to, my, to my home. And it's you know it's so big uh, from uh, with with Barcelona we but we have a uh, a very good town and a very good center to to go to walk and and it's so nice to go to see and in the beach we have a a, a very a very famous bridge in that enters to the, to the ocean and and it's it's uh, so nice. Zapytałem Marka o to, czy czuje się Katalończykiem, czy raczej Hiszpanem oraz czy mówi po katalońsku. Powiedział, że oczywiście mówi i jest zarówno Katalończykiem, jak i Hiszpanem. A jeżeli chodzi o trzy miejsca, które poleciłby, to Sagrada Familia, jest Beach in Barcelona and your hometown. Yeah, yeah, Badalona. Czyli Badalona, La Sagrada Familia i plaża w Barcelonie. Pytanie z czatu, question from chat. Mark, jaka atmosfera panuje w szatni przed dwiema kolejkami do końca ligi? So tell me, what's the atmosphere in dressing room in the team before the last two matches in extra klasa? Because you are, uh, we a little bit speak about this, but um, after match with Wisla, is there uh, between you uh, as a players, uh, are you angry about the result? Uh, are you calm about uh, staying in extra classa, or are you focused on the next match and do not think anything about uh, any other things? No, now I am thinking only with with the next match. Uh, the other things are past, and you can change. Uh, you need to to focus on on the next match. Uh, it's the only that you can you can do. Uh, you need to work all, all the week to, to be prepared for for Friday and and thinking the, the things that, that you need to do uh, to do your your best and to win and um, be a little bit calm for the for the last game and and finish this in, in the good way. Jeżeli chodzi o nastroje w szatni, Mark powiedział, że skupiają się na ostatnim meczu, chcą jak najlepiej zakończyć rozgrywki ligowe, 
na jak najlepszym miejscu i pokazać wszystko, na co stać naszą drużynę. So Mark, my last question. Some people say that if a player comes to the new team, he needs a time to, uh, to understand with other players, to be an adjustment to the team, to score goals. You didn't have time, and as the time shown us, you didn't need time, because you scored in the first game, you played from there six matches, 90 minutes in every match, three goals. What's your secret? No, there's no, there's no secret. <laughs> uh, I come here. Uh, Do not tell me you came here to score goals. It was no, too no. easy. Yes, I know, but uh, in my mind there is uh, eight games, and that's it. Because I don't know about the future. I need to wait, and it's not my not my decision and I come here and thinking about eight matches do my best and it's that I'm trying to do uh, I know that I don't have time and to adapt I need to to be fast and I think that uh, that it's good but I'm, I have help, help uh, from from the other teammates the coach and, and all the team, uh, but I think that before coming here, I I work at home to be prepared when when I arrive because I I know that uh, I arrive and I need to to play to to be good enough in physical in physical and in my mind I. It's not it's not easy to, to do this to to be stopped and then playing 90 minutes every week and for me, people don't see this but this is uh, so exhaust exhausting and I think that I need to rest a little well before I I need to play this these two games score if, if it's possible win I hope it's possible and uh, and then I, I need to, to rest uh, two or three weeks because for me this year is uh, crazy. so yeah it's crazy so so different I play I don't play a lot but with with all things uh, in Ukraine and this it's so different it and it's a exhausting year and I think that it's a, this is a, a, a good thing for me in the future because I, I learn a lot of things about, about life and about football in the, in the last four months and it would be so good for me in the future. I think especially about the life. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, now I, I see things a little different. Uh, that before, and I think that it's it's good uh, for 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 my life, for for the future, and uh, I think that that this helps me in, in the future. Um, tym pytaniem zakończymy. Mark zapytany o to, jaki jest jego sekret tego, że przyszedł do Jagiellonii z miejsca, zdobył miejsce w składzie, zaczął strzelać i gra regularnie. Powiedział, że nie ma żadnego sekretu. Przygotowywał się, ty, ciężko trenował, stara się zaadaptować, a trafiając do Jagiellonii miał w głowie tylko to, że ma przed sobą 8 meczów i jak sam stwierdził, musi się w nich zaprezentować jak najlepiej. Chce strzelić również w tych dwóch nadchodzących, czego oczywiście mu życzymy. Powiedział, że cztery ostatnie miesiące naprawdę dużo go nauczyły, nie tylko piłkarsko, ale także pod względem życiowym, czego na pewno nie można mu odmówić. Serdecznie Państwu dziękujemy za udział w dzisiejszej transmisji. E, również chciałbym serdecznie pogratulować jeszcze raz drużynie rezerw, która dzisiaj wygrała 2 do 1 z Zniczem Biała Piska po golu w ostatniej minucie. Transmisję z tego spotkania mogli Państwo oglądać na kanale Jaga TV. Zachęcamy do subskrybowania, zostawienia lajka, e, zostawienia jakiegoś komentarza, czy też e, śladu po sobie. Zachęcamy również do przejścia w piątek 20.30 Stadion Miejski przy ulicy Słonecznej w Białym Stoku. Mecz 33. kolejki PKO BP Ekstraklasy z Legią Warszawa. Bilety wciąż są dostępne. Bilety.jagielonia.pl Salonik i kolportera Jaga Fanshop na ulicy Wrocławskiej w Galerii Zielone Wzgórze. Mark, can we uh, ask our fans to come to the match with Legia? What will you tell them? Yeah.
Yes, of course. I, I hope that all seen in Friday in, in the stadium and celebrate the win together. Mam nadzieję, że tak będzie. I hope that it will be like you are saying, że spotkamy się wszyscy w piątek i będziemy mogli cieszyć się ze zwycięstwa. Moim i Państwa gościem był Mark Walf. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you for you. Państwu również dziękuję. Marcin Michowit, kłaniam się. Do zobaczenia i do usłyszenia. STS Zakłady Bukmacherskie, sponsorem głównym Jagiellonii Białystok.